Hi everybody, this is Daniel. Thank you guys for checking out the channel. Uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about eBay, Bonanza, and Amazon. Sites that you can sell uh, retail products on or wholesale products. Uh, we're going to talk about a little bit about where to get the products. Sorry about that, I just got uneaten. And a little bit about uh, um, what to do when you're selling on eBay uh, and Amazon and other sites like that. The first thing I want to say is that uh, most people, they when they go on YouTube and they look up uh, how to sell on eBay and Amazon, they, they get a lot of people saying that you can uh, drop ship products over from wherever, something there, and get paid, and then you can just buy the products. Well, that's not true. Normally, when you sell, when you start selling on eBay or Amazon, you have to wait around 20 days to get your money, so you better have some money on you to buy those products. Now, uh, that's really the only thing and uh, that you got to watch out for is make sure you got the money to buy whatever product you're selling if you're drop shipping. We're going to talk a little bit about retail arbitrage real quick. Now, re retail arbitrage is going to uh, your local stores like Walmart, Myers, uh, any store that sells uh, um, products. That get taxed on, which is like clothing, uh, um, electronics, or anything, like, anything around those lines, and uh, maybe going to the clearance aisle and seeing what they got. And uh, they got little uh, apps on your phones, like um, your uh, they got apps on smartphones and stuff that you can download, and you can scan the uh, products, and they'll show you how much they cost. So there's plenty of uh, videos about that on YouTube. You can go ahead and check them out. Retail arbitrage. And pretty much all you're doing is looking for a product, scanning it, and seeing if it's uh, maybe a product cost $10, but they're selling it on Amazon for uh, $18. Maybe if you buy like 10 of those, you can make a good amount of money off of it. That's pretty much what retail arbitrage is. And uh, you could do that with eBay or with uh, Amazon. Now, real quick, we're going to talk about Bonanza, because this is another site I've sold products on. You won't sell as many products as you do on on uh, eBay or Amazon, but uh, you will sell a few products. Uh, I've probably got uh, requested to uh, people that wanted to buy my products. I probably had uh, in the span of maybe uh, the last two months, I probably had around six or seven people. So like I said, it doesn't get as much traffic, but you still get sales on there. And there's another site called JPay, which... Uh, you can sign up for which is a uh, a newer site, but it's uh, trying to get uh, they're trying to sell a lower product. Like um, they're trying to try to outbeat Amazon with their products, with their uh, pricing. You can sign up there to sell too, but they have a, a somewhat of a rigorous uh, sign up. They want to know how you're getting, how you're how you're uh, you're going to be selling your products, how you're going to be shipping them, and so on. So it's it's a little bit more harder signing up. I've tried to before. I just kind of just said, no, I'm just going to wait a little bit. Because some of the things they wanted to know about, I didn't already have yet. So, which were uh, my, uh, which were, uh, I'm sorry, Amazon has like a, what's it called? A uh, Amazon, uh, it's called something. It, where the Amazon ships a product for them. That's what they want to know too. Who's going to be shipping your product? Is it you or is it somebody else? Alright, now there's another thing you guys might want to know about Amazon is that if you mess up on Amazon and they ban you, that's pretty much like a lifetime ban. You would never ever probably be able to get back on Amazon. eBay, you will still have a chance to get it back on there. Maybe when you move, you might be able to just switch up your IP address or something and they might not know you, know it. Or they'll just help you to give you breaks if you mess up a lot along the way, but... Amazon, I'm not sure if they changed their policies, but yeah, they'll ban you straight up. I've uh, gotten into some trouble when I first joined that Amazon a long time ago. When I was just starting to find out about about Amazon and eBay, and I joined Amazon and uh, I saw two products for like a couple hundred dollars. I was selling them, and I thought that I was going to get the money for them, and then I was going to be able to 
buy the product and uh, ship it to them. Unfortunately, I didn't know that the money, you don't get the money right away. That's why I was telling you guys about that. <clears throat> so I've never been able to sell on Amazon. But throughout my entire life of you know, being all over the internet, I do know pretty much a lot about Amazon. Plus, I buy. I buy from Amazon every single day. I got Amazon Prime. And uh, I use Amazon as one of my uh, drop shipping places to go to. And uh, I picked up a lot of information by Amazon along the way. But there's one thing that you got to know. If you get in trouble with Amazon, from what I know from what before, they will ban you for pretty much from life. I do sell uh, ebooks and stuff there, though. So you can still sell ebooks and stuff. But as far as selling on there, you're going to either have to, when you move, get a new... Uh, IP address, get new, you gotta create a whole new identity or so figure out who it is. So, can I do that? Yes, but uh, right now I'm, I'm uh, right now I'm just kind of doing it, going into other things. So, yes, you, you can get back on it, but you gotta be very careful because they figure out just like a little piece of your information sounds familiar, they will ban you again. So, and you can go ahead and look up on uh, YouTube for these types of things. And there's plenty of people on there that will tell you that when they join back, they got banned. They may be on there for like four months, but then they will get banned, trust me. Yeah, well, uh, let's go ahead and go over to private label. Private label products are products that you will buy. Let's say champagne, like Paul Mitchell. He, uh, he decided to go to a... Uh, a shampoo company, like what well, I think it's one of the last shampoo companies in America, and he ordered some uh, some shampoo from them, and they put a label on there for him, and uh, that's how he became started selling it. But these are, but it's a little bit different than uh, this. It's it's really not that that different, because they pretty much if, if uh, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and show you something here. See this? You guys may not know what this is, but this is a uh, little ladle doll. A little ladle, uh, dusty, nesty ladle thing. Now, I bought and sold this on uh, eBay. For, on Amazon eBay. Probably a hundred times already. Now, normally I would buy it from Amazon. Which is uh, a nesty ladle. Let's go with spoon. And trust me, I would buy these all the time and sell them. I wouldn't buy them. I'd buy, I'd sell them, then buy them. And that would normally come down to normally this one or this one. I'm not sure. I don't think you guys that one or this one. I probably. I'm sorry. You might not be able to see my uh, my pointer. I don't think I clicked that yet. So, but yeah, I used to buy buy the one right here, the blue one, and the one right under it. See, they're going for six right now. The other one's going for five. Normally, I'd buy the eight dollar one. I don't think it's on here though. But yeah, I sell these on eBay all the time for around twelve dollars. And uh, you could buy them for here from here, three different colors. You buy one piece for a dollar something. Let me see if you can buy a couple of them for a couple of dollars here. You get two piece for six dollars. You know. You can find a whole bunch of them here. Likeness, Suplato. And you can buy these off of here and sell them. The problem is that if you buy something on AliExpress, it will take around 30 days to get to the house. People don't like that. A lot of time when you're selling something from overseas, which I have sold plenty of items from overseas. When I, when I got started, I only sold items from overseas. So well, some people will want their money back, you know, and the product's already there, so you can't do nothing about it. And, and some people will... Uh, would just be mad at you and all, all, all these other things so but this is pretty much a good way to sell yourself stuff is good stuff from overseas just like this and you're gonna wanna find later on you're gonna wanna find a uh, shipping uh, company let's say uh, what's it called I'm sorry I'm, I, like I said I, I, mean, I, I didn't say this but I'm just doing this uh, real time I'm not Thinking this up, I'm okay. I'm just kind of doing it as I go. Let me go ahead and uh, look for the shipping. Okay, we're talking about trying to find a what I was trying to think of was the fulfillment service, a shipping fulfillment service. 
sorry, service. Uh, uh, one that I know of is this one. I believe it's located in Michigan where I am. And it's e fulfillment. And uh, for anything under, I believe, a pound is you should, can ship for like something like a couple of dollars. So you can buy probably uh, 10 of these or something for around maybe 15 bucks. But then you, you what you're gonna do is you're gonna call the fulfillment place. You're gonna set up uh, set it up with them. They're gonna send you a uh, they're gonna send you something in the mail that that shows their shipping prices. So by, it's gonna be by pounds. So like two pounds, I believe, is like eight dollars, nine dollars, something. I think two pounds were something like maybe eight ninety nine. It, it's like different prices because there's different areas. Like if, if it goes to Alaska, it might cost a little bit more, even if it's just two pounds. But they're gonna have like the different prices and everything. And I believe anything under a pound was somewhere around two ninety nine. I think at the most. Um, well, you could buy maybe 10 of these for uh, however much it would end up coming up to, maybe uh, 13, 13, 70 or something. And uh, you would ship it to them. And uh, they might, for every one that they that you sell on Amazon, it'll cost you an extra maybe 2 or $3 to ship it, depending on where it's going. I mean, most likely just $2, like I said. Uh, and that, that's a fulfillment service. That's what they do. They ship products. So uh, what you would do is you order it right off here, ship it right to the fulfillment center, and once you get an order in on your e Amazon or your eBay, you would go ahead and buy it, sell the fulfillment center where you where the order is going to, and they will ship it out for you. And uh, it would only cost you a total of maybe four dollars at the most, maybe uh, five at the most, who knows? And, uh, and like I said, you could sell those for uh, anywhere between eight to. Uh, to twelve dollars, and uh, at the most you're going to be buying that and shipping it for uh, five bucks, like I said. So you're going to be able to make at least instead of buying uh, this right here for five ninety nine, you're going to make an extra ninety nine cents. Or this one right here, I think was the one I normally buy, but eight ninety nine, you'd be buying it for like under under most likely under five dollars. So. If you would have sold it for eight, you would have made three dollars. If you would have bought it from here, you would have had to sell it for at least twelve dollars or or more to make a profit. You're not going to get anything under five dollars here. Most likely, it would only cost you around three. Well, you're, you're talking about you have to buy the product, which is a dollar, and it'll probably cost you at the most for anything under a pound is two dollars, I believe. From what I remember, maybe it's three dollars, but that's a dollar something plus three dollars. You'd be spending maybe. At the most, 450 or something for this product. And uh, every time it ships, you, like I said, it doesn't matter. You, you buy 10 of these, ship it to them. You post it up on eBay or wherever on Amazon. You say, uh, I want to sell 10 of these. Let's see. Ladles. And uh, whenever you sell one, they'll ship it to, you, to them. And your profit. You might, when you take off everything, the uh, fees and everything, it will come up. You would still make more money. That like said, I believe the uh, the two dollar rate was around two dollars, maybe a little bit lower. And there's a bigger items than that. Uh, that was just one of the items I was talking about. Another item is uh, where you can get your product shipped, like Amazon FBA. That's like just another site that you can use, another uh, service. There's tons of different fulfillment places. Amazon has its own fulfillment places, which a lot of people uh, use and they make a lot of money with. Just by buy, buying products from overseas and uh, sending it to, to Amazon FBA and then they uh, sell it there and they make an extra 10. Maybe some people may only make an extra dollar. They don't care. They'll just keep looking for products to send to FBA. Uh, eBay's sort of backing up here, so... Uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and back out of eBay here if I can. Alright. Now, we talked about uh, the... Uh, oh yeah, what I was going to show you is uh, another product that I know of. 
which you can find also on Amazon. You could you could also sell it on Amazon if you wanted to. That's the uh, IKEA 17 inch or 17. This is a uh, this thing right here. Right now it's going for thirteen dollars. Sometimes it'll rise up to a uh, nineteen. Fifteen right there. It's got a little extra thing to it though. It's probably the only one right there, but uh those things right there you can get for about maybe three dollars or something overseas. If you want to, uh, we can go ahead and look that up. Go to Alibaba real quick and check it out. You can get a lot of stuff over at Alibaba as well. I'm sorry, my stuff's messing up here, but yeah, all these products, pretty much most of these products, you can sell for. Uh, you can buy them from overseas and sell them. Uh, we also had a dishwasher, a dish. Uh, one of those dish drainers when you wash your dishes. We, um, my brother bought one from uh, Family Dollar, I think for like five bucks, and they were selling it on Amazon for fourteen dollars. It was the same dishwasher. We got it from a dollar store, and they were selling it on here for like fourteen dollars, an extra markup of at least nine dollars. And these are everywhere. Now let's go ahead and get into the bit of a meat and potatoes of this. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go over to uh, Terra Peak here. I'm going to go over to Terra Peak. I'm going to go ahead and close these down here. This is a list I have of people that are selling good products, um, a high amount of products. This means that I stopped at 16 because um, I took a lot of their products and was selling it myself. Let's go ahead and check out this guy here. Let's go, let's go ahead and check out. Uh, Let's go ahead and check out uh, this guy here. Okay, we're going to go to Terra Peak. When you get into Terra Peak, you're going to enter in his name, paste. You're going to go ahead and go down to 30 days, which is what I like to do. You're going to go ahead and search. It's going to go up. Now, these are the products that he's selling. Let's go ahead and click that. Let's wait for it to pull up here. All right, now as we can see, these are uh, obviously the products that he's selling. We're going from the highest to the lowest. Uh, this one's going right here. He's uh, sold uh, 94 of these in the last uh, 30 days. He's made 1,000, 400, 600, 500. And the list goes on and on and on. Let's go and try to look this guy up here. He's going for nine dollars. That's the average amount he's making. He's probably maybe making more. He might be making just a little less. Who knows? Let's go and come. I don't know why my computer is moving so slow. Refresh this page here. Out of the way, uh, my, my computer stopped moving. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't want to continue here, but let's go ahead and go up here. So I worry about that. Obviously, there's people on there selling it for more than whatever it was selling over there at Amazon. So they're selling it right off of Amazon and making probably a dollar to some two dollars, five dollars uh, income on th off that just one product. Now we're going over here to see how much this guy has made. This is a 30 days. I'm not sure if this is a 30 day total or 
or more. You see here, because right here it says total sales is nine $9,000. But if this is for a 30 day, I'm not sure. Seems like a lot to me. I'm not, I don't know. Let's go 90 days and see what it looks like. That's a lot of money right there, $90,000. Especially if that was just 30 days. That's really a lot of money. I know he ain't making all that money. He's, he's probably making at the most. I can't really say at the most, but I can just guess he's probably has at least 10% of that, which is 9000 We can cut that in half and say it's only around uh, maybe 3.5 or just still a good amount of money. Oh, yep. That's a 30-day income right there. This is a 90-day income. He's selling $224,000 worth of products. This guy is this one guy here. Like I said, I got that whole sheet full of people. I can probably look up each and every one of them and see how much they're making. Let's go and look up another guy here. Oops. Where is it at? High ticket. Let's go ahead and look up. Uh, let's let's look. Uh, let's just go ahead and take a picture. This guy right here. Copy. This guy's making two hundred twenty-four thousand in sales. He's probably bringing home at least if a weekly basis. He's bringing home at least. Over 500 to 800 to maybe a thousand and, and weekly sales and a week if you split that all up into weekly as if you can take that money out every week you know what I'm saying if he saves it up in a month and takes out just just every weekly he's probably too, he could be able to take out more than five hundred dollars of that guarantee that that's just 90 days that's not even uh that's, 30, that's, that's, two, that's barely two months right there. Just about two months. So, yeah, he's, he's definitely making a good income off eBay. Like I said, I have a whole sheet of these people that I just randomly, whenever I look up on eBay, I look for people that can uh, take their products off and copy them. These are the same products that I could take off. They're using right now. I could take those products off their, their, their stuff and copy them and add them to my stuff. That's how uh, crucial... Click bank, click uh, Terapeakas. Let's go ahead and look up one more guy here. 90 days, uh, 135 thousand dollars in 90 days of sales. He's bringing home out. My guess is successful listings, 3,000. Sell through rate. His sell through rate is 99 percent. That's 3,700 listings. So, if you're if you're have at least around that amount, you're probably bringing home at least that much if you have got the right amount, the right type of uh, products that you're selling. If he's making a dollar off each and every one of those products, and he sells 5,000 of those, I don't know. Maybe that's not enough right there. But this is two two months, so if he's making at least two dollars off those, he'd be making five thousand dollars a month, which ain't bad. That's at least over a thousand dollars each and every week. So, and the other guy was almost double that, so he's bringing home at least two thousand dollars each week. So you guys can understand that there is big money getters over here at Amazon. I mean, at eBay. That's that's this ain't eBay. On Amazon, you got people probably making. A million dollars in sales each two every ninety days. But over here at eBay, you still got people making a lot of money. Like I said, I have a whole list for that. I've just got that I copy from every once in a while. I'm, I'm sorry if these people end up looking, but you know it is it is what it is. It's a game. All right, thank you guys for watching.